All right, this is day 41, and I'm starting on my next uh, set of brooches. It's going to be an unmatched pair. Um, ferret on the right side of your monitor, stag on the left side of your monitor. These are going to be something guys or girls can use. Um, you see, I got the roll tabs on the side, so I can roll those up and put my hardware mounts uh, for a cloak clasp. So these will be uh, cloak pin brooches. And the uh, that's all free hand work. That's all my free hand work. And uh, spent the last couple hours doing that. I don't think that's half bad, actually. Uh, Man, I've never drawn a ferret before. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think there's some smudge in the lens. See, smudge, smudge, smudge. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna wanna um, get these uh, cut out of here and then shaped onto the metal to get the metal shape right. And draw them again on the copper stock so uh, obviously uh, after the dragon knots I decided to get uh, more complicated this time um, I am pleased with that ferret I I'd never drawn a ferret before and I had nothing but my own my own memories of them to draw from um, one of our two just passed away. He was pretty old, though. He's an old fella. But uh, his little buddy keeps trying to escape to go look for him. And it's just sad to try to explain to a ferret, like, you know, you can run as far as you want, but you'll never find him, you know? But, uh, so anyhow, the person that suggested this pairing of animals, I know that they understand ferrets, too. And, and uh, they are fun little critters. We've had some good ones in our family. Um, the uh, the stag came out a bit uh, aggressive. Um, I, I think I'm okay with that. I think the the power of that, the, the Celtic power of that, the Welsh power of that, is speaking forward. And and uh, same thing with the ferret, you know. And uh, these work for a Viking brooch. Both these uh, critters are well known to the Vikings, so um, work for a lot of things. So I'm going to make sure I tune my shapes here good, and uh, then I'll mark each one on copper. So I got the stock cut, and this is the stag side. This is the ferret side. I have it labeled. Anyway, now I got to fire them, and then. <coughs> Pardon the cough. Um, fire them, soften them, and then once they're uh, the fire softening puts a nice uh, a nice color on them that makes it uh, better to draw on too. So next step, firing them. Okay, so I got them fired um, <coughs> and softened and relabeled, so I know which is which. Because they're since they're hand they're freehand drawn, there will be if I use the wrong one, it would probably work, but not as uh, not as well. So uh, time to time to draw again. All right, I've got the uh, little trouble with the metal. I had to recut one. Um, I got the ferret and the stag uh, inked out on my uh, ferret slipped a little bit um, on my. Uh, softened copper and so now I'll start the relief work. So I got the stag lined uh, hard lined and I will start the uh, relief texturing. So so got the ferret to line out. Probably gonna run out of light today but I might be able to get quite a ways on on this guy. So there's uh, not quite done, but just about there, a little tuning here and there. Uh, the uh, stag side of the cloak clasp brooches. So, trying to find some 
light here that works. Yeah, there's some. Huh. So I am losing my light, so I probably won't get anything more done on the ferret side. But, um, not too shabby. Not too shabby. So I worked on a technique to be able to dome these a little more than I've been and uh, you get some curve in that and it's hard to film it but get some curve in the relief work too and it seems to have worked okay and all the knot works all right um, hands weren't as steady today as I would have liked to have done them to have been uh, but the works there and it works okay you know it's good even considering uh, ferret tomorrow no way I'm getting it done today in this light and uh, and uh, other factors but um, I think I shifted something a little bit I think that's what I've been looking at. Let's see. Is that? Is that? Yeah, I shifted something a little bit. No biggie. Everything's got to have its own imper imperfections in it. But a pair of that, that, and a ferret next to it with a, some hardware in between, pinned to the front of a nice piece of wool, a wool blanket for a cloak or whatever, or a actual formal cloak. Man, I think that'd look pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy.